Okay, should we start? Mm -hmm. ah! Okay. <laughs> Just having a casual conversation with my friends. <laughs> <laughs> How we got started was I'd seen a play a year before our play um, that was facilitated by Well Arts, and Well Arts is the group that facilitated us. They help. Family. I mean, what they do is they take groups that don't usually you don't usually see on stage, and they help them write their stories and tell their stories, and they put them on stage because they know the power of theater. And I, I, I hadn't really realized how powerful live theater can be. So when I went to the play and I saw like these moms of kids with intellectual disabilities telling their stories on stage, and there was one about the IEP that I could totally relate to. And there were differences, but there was a lot I could relate to. I thought, well, this is really powerful. And then one of the Well Arts board members is a UCP grandmother, and she said, would you like to do this with UCP moms? And I said, of course. I want us to tell our stories on stage. So after, you know, we had to raise a lot of money to do it, and we got all the production costs taken care of. Then we gathered us together, and we started meeting with a well arts facilitator and and you know we didn't know what we were going to be doing we didn't know how they were going to take what we wrote which we hadn't even wrote yet and turn it into theater but about i don't know probably halfway through the process five weeks into it we were writing for 10 weeks five weeks into it we started we had this long session and we said oh and we started to see how our stories would be turned into theater but we still didn't know what it was going to look like and we focused a lot i feel like on the diagnosis piece because Nicole and I were so early on and I think we were at least part of why I <laughs> was interested in the writing group was all about so how do other people get through this and what is that next step is once we did start to share we all had similar experiences and similar stories you know the rude person at the softball game or the you know weird encounter you had at the pharmacy or the staring at the restaurant or you know whatever it was we all had these very similar experiences that we were able to then um, turn into you know real dialogue and real how did you really feel about that and really get to sort of the heart of the matter and do so you know quickly and with some with some humor as well, because some of these stories, it's just like you just can't believe that that really happened that way. And the things we wish we could go back and say now, <laughs> that was fun to write about that too, kind of help get that out and correct all of the assumptions that people had. And I remember sometimes driving home and literally being like, Kind of like you did, Nate. Like I don't, I don't know if I can go to another session like this because it took so much emotionally from me, thinking and processing, and what do I believe about this, and how do I really feel, and getting all that stuff out. And then I remember, I think it was about halfway through or towards the end, we were talking one night in the parking lot, and you're telling how your husband's like, "Are you, are you sure you're doing a writing session? Are you sure you guys aren't going out and drinking? Because you come <laughs> home so happy, and like it started changing from really like hard and." and whatever to like we it really transformed all of our lives and mm -hmm. just mm -hmm. brought about this this yeah. new story this new courage in us this new happiness and it was it's amazing yeah. changed my life forever really yeah. i think about it every day well and i was so excited to be able to talk to chris about it to share mm -hmm. all this with him and to be able to say you made me who i am today mm -hmm. if i hadn't had you I wouldn't be anywhere near this person. Right. And that, God, what a gift to be able to tell your kid that, you know. And it's true. So the play not only changed us, but it changed everyone who came and saw it. Everybody, I mean, there were five performances. The last four were sold out. And everybody that I saw, because I was there for all of them, was happy that they were there. They were glad they came. I heard... I had 10 pages of remarks that people sent me after the play of how glad they were they were there. Um, one mom wrote about how her ex-husband had gone and had a new view of their child that he didn't have before. And um, they were all really glad they were there. It was hard for some people. There were some people afraid to come. They thought it'd be too emotional. And it was emotional, but it was we had so much humor that it was okay because it was funny too. It's like our lot, you have to laugh or you're going to crumble. So um, it changed everybody who saw it. It's a very powerful tool. And that's what I wanted. That's my motivation for doing this was since my daughter's been born. Like, I want the world to accept her 
and see her for all who she is, not just see her disability. And I think this, this has been the most powerful tool to do that of anything I've seen in 24 years. So mm -hmm. I was really glad we got to do it. Yeah. We weren't just trying to tell our stories, right? We were actually just trying to tell like everybody's story because it is so isolating and just it's such a terrifying experience all of a sudden you have this child that is not following the charts and not on every everybody else's scale that everyone you know pretty much. I mean, I just, it was so isolating and just to have that experience of being able to tell this story kind of for, I feel like we were writing for everybody in mm -hmm. our group, not mm -hmm. just ourselves at all. Like we were really trying to be like, look, you are not alone. Mm -hmm. And that was what was so powerful for me and seeing this couple and that scene and then just being like, I totally, yep, that's what I feel, you know? and just. <laughs> I think it, it, I felt like all of your stories were also part of my story as well. And I hope that that went out. I mean, I know we hoped that, it, I hope people felt that way just kind of throughout the whole UCP community. And I think that, that was another point that we tried to make with the production was that while there are certain things about our lives that are different or special, at the heart of it, we're just like everybody else. We're, we're moms with joys about uh, their child's accomplishments. Now, you know, maybe my child's accomplishment is raising his head and your child's accomplishment is winning the spelling bee, but my pride in his moment is the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And while there are certain things that do set us apart, what we really long for is just to have a connection with everybody. And so that was, you know, hopefully one of the things that came out of the DVD is that people don't, you know, separate themselves from us. We just want a hello. We just want the door opened for us or we'll open it and hold it for you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's just, we're just people yeah. trying to get through every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was nice that the audience wasn't just UCP people mm -hmm. or parents or grandparents. There was just regular community members that came out and mm -hmm. luckily took the time to say, I had no idea what your world was like, but now I really, really get it and I am so changed and that's, you know, God, that's what we want. Yeah. Right. So. I think, and I think that's part of hearing your experience because mine was not like that. Mm -hmm. I was like, I was like, my life is over and this is super hard and I don't know what to do. Hearing hearing the stories and hearing your experience like that gave me the power the confidence to walk up to his seven year old checkup and then hand me the charts and be like this has to be filled out and say no it does not <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> take it yeah. screw you <laughs> <You're not defending. laughs> right you know what i mean my biggest thing was for people who heard fierce love that they if they have a child with disability or if they, and they know, or maybe they don't know, and they have that thought about, I don't think I can do this, or maybe I don't want to do this, that they'll think twice and be like, I want to do this because mm -hmm. we all want to do it and we would do it again. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. And it's, it's hard. Yeah. But completely worth it mm -hmm. a million times over. What mm -hmm. you get out of it is certainly more than what, whatever trial or tribulation you handle that day by the people that it brings into your life, mm -hmm. um, by their, the essence of, of them is what, you know, you just celebrate every minute because, you know, none of us are guaranteed a lifetime. I was really glad we chose the top, the title Fierce Love because that's what I feel I have developed um, a, a, a love so fierce that I didn't know I could I was capable of and also actually somebody just a couple weeks ago said well you know you must have been a warrior in a past life mm -hmm. I said I'm a warrior in this life <laughs> I you have to be and that's in the play right that I had to be a physical therapist and a speech therapist and an occupational therapist and a lawyer and an advocate and a warrior to make sure my daughter gets what she needs because it's not easy. You have to be a warrior. So that's why it's fierce. Yeah, one of the things I noticed about myself after the play was it's so easy and, and sometimes right to focus on your life, your child. It's all consuming. It can be. And sometimes rightfully so. But 
Um, I having people hear my story, sharing my story, and seeing how that impacted people, it really made me interested in other people's story. Like taking mm-hmm. a minute to like the person in the grocery store, like what is how is their life? What is their story? How do people treat them? What rude things do people say to them? Mm-hmm. Like, you know, how do they not feel connected? And I think that really mm-hmm. kind of helped help me evolve as a person over into all areas of my life. 